So, what do you Hello everyone, my name is Maggie, and this is another episode of Mirage Fix. In this episode, I did a lot of things. Um, overall, just cleaning the engine, chain parts, and paint stuff. Now in this video, I cleaned the engine in a bad way. I didn't cover up stuff. So without covering anything, I just basically go ahead and clean the car, which is bad and that will mess up a lot of things. So the healthier way is to cover up the distributor, intake hole, and other electronic parts. And that is the good way. If you are not feeling confident about doing it, don't do it. If you guys want to do it, I would suggest you guys you cover up stuff. Do it in the sun so that it's hot and dry quickly. Bad room cleaner. At this point, there is no sunlight at all. It's getting dark, so I use just air compressor to blow off the water and try to get the engine to dry up and trying to start up the engine. What I will suggest you guys is to leave it in the sun or I don't know, just try to get it as dry as possible before you try to start the engine. And so I tried to start it a couple of times. It didn't work, so I put a little bit of starting fuel or gasoline into the intake hole, start up the car and also step on the gas to open the throttle. Only do this if your car is not starting up. Gonna be changing the air filter, spark plugs, spark plug wires, the exhaust manifold. I think I'm gonna paint it silver, and we'll see if it will burn off or uh, stop like that. You know, VHT uh, 2000 Fahrenheit. Let's clean all the grease off first. I'm gonna use this to get the grease out. I'm increasing horsepower today. <laughs> Now 
19 millimeters. The nut in there won't come off, it's already uh, ruined the threads in there. Turns out that this thing is bad. Okay guys, turns out I couldn't find any store around here that would sell these studs. I'm gonna go on the internet and order that online. So I'm gonna be using these just temporarily. These are the smaller ones, so they will just go right through the threads. This is gasoline. I drew a hole on the cap there. As you can see that it's got a shoulder like that and inside that shoulder it's got all of these uh, mess so what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put it back just a little bit I'm gonna soak it with gasoline This one doesn't even have the cap. Or oh, the other one have the cap. Very bad. This could lead to misfiring too because the wire is not touching the spark plug. As you can see that this is gonna make a big difference. Okay guys, I got the head metaphor in there and nuts and bolts on both sides over here. I'm gonna tighten these up. I'm gonna clean this up and paint it next time. Alright. Okay guys, I got lucky and found this on eBay. It is the um, belt tensioner. Remember last time in the timing belt video, I couldn't move this one. It will break. So I have to take this off. 12 millimeters. I think you can remake this one. Just get a piece of metal or aluminum. Drill one hole here and drill and tap that uh, thread. up a little bit That 
it's not a good sign, is it? Okay, guys, for sure that I have to repaint this. I didn't clean it very good. That's why it's got uh, some oil that it's burning inside the paint. In this area, it is very good. I clean it up good, but not those areas. I'll just clean it up real good next time. And yeah. All right, guys, I bought this right here. It is the um, spark plug wire separator from 6 speed. They even give me the sticker, which um, folded in half. <laughs> I don't know why they do that with stickers. <laughs> they won't stay. See, I only sand this down, that will work just fine. Alright guys, I have this badge and I'm gonna put it right here. Shout out to the person that suggested me this. And I did not order this, so I just ordered it recently. Guys, I have to paint it again. That sucks, but what can I do?
I'm gonna soak this with some oil. I can brush these off using brush wire. Whoops, don't forget this one guys. Some of you guys told me to do this. Alright guys, the part just came. I want to tell you guys that there is an error in the Fumoto video. It is not 3.5 quarts for the 1.5 liters Mirage. It is 3 or 3.2 quarts for the 1.5 liters Mirage. So I put a notation on top of that. Besides, once you have the Fumoto, if you accidentally put too much oil in there, you can drain some oil out and that's a good thing about it. Now let's put this grommet on and be done. I got a temporary tape here. And that will be it guys. I hope you enjoyed and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. So what you cup.